Hi, this is Gila. In the continuing saga concerning James Younger, which I talked about on this channel some six months ago now, whose mother is essentially trying to turn her eight-year-old son into a girl, actually a biological impossibility, a judge in Dallas recently and outrageously took away James's father's rights regarding his son's medical, psychological and psychiatric care. That power now rests solely with James's mother, Dr. Anne Giorgoulas. I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. This ruling by Judge Mary Brown, made on Monday the 10th of August, reverses the decision made last October by Judge Kim Cooks, who ruled that both parents should be included when making joint medical decisions for James and his brother Jude. James's mother now has the sole authority to enrol her son in school as a girl named Luna and also to have him undergo transgender medical procedures. In response, there's a rally planned this Sunday, the 30th of August, in Coffee Park in Dallas, Texas, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. It will be a time of prayer and solidarity for this young boy who should surely have the right to grow up as nature intended, as the boy he actually is, instead of having his whole life completely screwed up by the attempts by his mother to have him sterilised and castrated. If you're able to get there, socially distanced and wearing a mask, I suggest, please do so. And also, if you're American, I would suggest contacting your own members of Congress and perhaps write to the Attorney General and even President Trump directly with your concerns. The more fuss, the more people who protest peacefully, but clearly and strongly and persistently, the better. Frankly, I don't know what planet this boy's mother and Judge Mary Brown actually live on, but it is not one that decent, normal and ordinary people would surely recognise. Now, if someone, when they are an informed adult, after some time of personal contemplation, truly believes they want to have their genitalia chopped off, be maimed for life and be forced to take expensive hormones every day so that they can live as someone of the opposite sex, that's one thing. Or for the very tiny number of children who are genuinely born intersex, there may be important medical considerations which their parents and doctors need to do something about. But to do this to a normal young boy is child abuse and a criminal outrage, all the more vile because a clearly deluded judge has not respected the rights either of James to grow up normally or those of his father to protect him as every decent parent should. 